Pastor Garabedian, Dr. Rios, members of the board, Duro High School Chapter of Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America, also known as FCCLA, competed at the Texas FCCLA State Leadership Conference in Corpus Christi, Texas on April the 9th through the 11th. Students participated in what is called the STAR, Students Taking Action with Recognition events and earn medals for their success. Here with me today are the FCCLA sponsors, Erica Bratley, Nancy St. Peter, and Ms. Linda Corbell. Now Mrs. Corbell will provide FCCLA information and present the students that are advancing to nationals, which will be held July 6th through the 10th in San Antonio, Texas. Mrs. Corbell. Good evening. My name is Linda Corbell, and I am one of the Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America Advisors from Del Rio High School. I am very pleased to be here tonight to give you a brief update about FCCLA and its members who have won awards and qualified to participate and compete at the National Conference, SOAR. FCCLA, formerly known as Future Homemakers of America, or FHA, has been around for over 50 years. FCCLA is a student-led with over 200,000 members nationwide, including Puerto Rico, Hawaii, and Alaska. Its central focus is the family. Membership in FCCLA is voluntary and can only be acquired through enrollment in the family and consumer science courses. Members plan and participate in a variety of activities at DRHS and DRFS and in the community. Through their participation, they have learned leadership, developed creative and critical thinking, interpersonal communication, practical knowledge, and career preparation. One of the many programs FCCLA offers is the STAR Events Program, Students Taking Action with Recognition. There are 21 competitive events student members can participate in and win at the regional and state level. Those winning at state must win and earn their place to go to the national competition representing Texas. This year, I am very proud to present to you our state winners and national qualifiers. From the Del Rio freshman, FCCLA advisor, Erica Bradley, Placing second place in the junior division, promote and publicize FCCLA is Ana Araceli Barrios. <laughs> Placing first in the junior division, national programs in action are Tiffany Gonzalez and Logan Meadow. publicized FCCLA is an individual or team event that recognizes participants who develop an FCCLA promotion and publicity campaign to raise awareness and educate the school parents and members of the community about the importance of FCCLA and family and consumer sciences education. National Programs in Action, an individual or team event, recognizes participants who explain how the planning process was used to plan and implement a national program project. From the Del Rio High School FCCLA advisor, Nancy St. Peter, winning second place in promote and publicize FCCLA senior division is Alejandra Chavez, Michael Mott, and Estefania Moreno. The event of Promote and Publicize is to provide FCCLA members with communications experience to make a difference by increasing membership, developing partnerships, gaining alumni and associate involvement, promoting FACS education, gathering school and community support for their chapter, and contributing to the longevity of the organization and the relevance of its opportunities for members. Additionally, this event will increase member awareness of careers in communications and public relations. And from the DR, Del Rio High School FCCLA RAM chapter, winning first place in Teach and Train Occupational Division is Israel Prieto. <laughs> Teach and Train, an individual event, recognizes participants who demonstrate their ability to explore and experience the career of teaching or training. Participants must prepare a portfolio of the teaching and training career, prepare and execute a complete lesson plan, workshop, and an oral presentation. Senior and occupational participants will also complete a shadowing experience of a best practices teacher. 
FCCLA would like to thank Dr. Sally Zuniga Barrera, Mr. Jorge Limon, and the administrative team and staff for all the approvals of activities and fundraisers and support for our FCCLA student members. Thank you also to Mr. Gonzalez, Mrs. Linda Flores, Ramiro Ortiz, Karina Alcalá, and Ernesto Lopez for your support and leadership. Mr. Gonzalez and his CTE team, or family as we like to call it, have been very supportive of the work of each of the FCCLA chapters each year. We are a very active organization and that requires the approval and funding of many activities to make all this happen for our FCS and CTE kids and that is what makes our chapter some of the best in the state. Mr. Gonzalez's high standards for the CTE department and student organizations are what challenges us to meet higher goals and that support is critical. We would like to thank the parents of these members as well. They are all great parents to work with and always support their children. This, as you see, is the largest number of competitors advancing to national that we have ever had. These students before you have received many honors and awards from FCCLA and the community. We are very proud to be their advisors and would like to thank you for supporting us as we travel to the National Conference in July in San Antonio, Texas. We will soar to new heights in FCCLA. I invite you to visit the FCCLA website at www.fcclainc.org or the state website, the TexasFCCLA.org. Thank you. This makes 49 CTE students that are advancing to, to national and world this year. Awesome.